Okay, it's going to be a little short video on frame inspection for the uh, chapter 26 that we're doing this week. Uh, so, uh, one thing you're going to hear a lot of this chapter about is called a huck fastener. Uh, a lot of the trucks, that's pretty much what they've gone to. So, yeah, it's identified by having this nut here as being round and it looks like a washer's on the back side, but it's actually the way that it's made. So that's basically the nut. It has a lot of contact area around here. And then the other side just looks like a normal bolt. So that's a huck fastener. Now this is the uh, 07 International that we got that was wrecked. So there's a pretty obvious frame damage right here. You can see where that, it's got a big raised area here. If you look down the frame rail, you can obviously see how bad that it's bent because this frame rail should be straight. It's distorted the bracket that the fifth wheel mounts to and the fifth wheel sets at an angle on this frame because of the damage on the rollover wreck that it had. Those things are pretty obvious and they're normally not going to be that obvious. The things you're going to look for is obviously missing fasteners or a fastener that is not tight. Now it would take forever to take a wrench and put on every bolt and check the torque on every preventive maintenance inspection or frame inspection. That's going to be really time consuming. So what we look for is, if you look at these bolts, see how the paint comes up around the washer. Uh, there's no evidence that it's been moving or anything. There's no rust streaks coming out. A lot of times a loose fastener will have like little rust streaks coming down the bottom of it. So uh, just like we talked about in wheels and tires, if you see lug nuts with those rust streaks on there, that means it may be loose. But one thing that's kind of a giveaway of a problem, a little bit hard to see on this video, but on this side of this cross member, you can see an area where there's no paint, where this bolt has moved. On all three of these bolts are that way. So you see that during a frame inspection that tells you that this has moved. That's not normal. Everything should stay in place. So that's an area you need to check. You need to see if the bolts are tight, what might've caused it to move. Is there some damage somewhere? We think about uh, frames as you know, being really rigid and solid, but they flex a lot. If you've ever watched a truck pull away from a stoplight, especially when it's loaded, the whole truck twists with all the torque to try to get that weight rolling. So they're designed to give and then go back to normal. So they're not rigid where they don't give at all because that would break things. They're designed to have some flex to them so that they can absorb torque and torsion and stuff and then return to normal at rest. A lot of our damage to trucks shows up in the off-road or oil field. Uh, when you pull a truck out of the mud when it's stuck or you know, a lot of times they hook onto a oil field truck and pull it up to the location with a dozer because it's been raining and you know it's off-road. So what happens is the chain only gets hooked to one frame rail and when you do that with a lot of weight you can actually pull one frame rail in front of the other and get it kind of out of line that way so that usually shows up with tire wear but just keep that in mind if you have some weird tire wear that the frame could be no longer true some manufacturers put this rail here on the back of the truck and it's kind of an approach ramp this extra piece that's on this truck helps with drivers a lot of times won't get out of the vehicle to go make sure everything's lined up when they go to hook to a trailer and if the trailer is setting too low they'll uh, run the truck into it and just try to bounce it up because they don't want to get out and actually run the dollies and lift it up so where this truck put a plate on here to help with that for some reason, Freightliner doesn't like doing that. So one of the biggest problems you're going to, if you would find if you were here doing the frame inspection on the red freight, and the white freight has the same damage and so does the silver.
here at the back of the freight, there is not that piece of metal to help protect that and you've got an obvious big split here on the side. It may not seem like that big a thing because it's all the way back here on the back of the truck, but the problem with this is that will continue over time to split and travel and go up that frame. So all three of our Freightliners have this problem and it's from drivers slamming this into a trailer and getting it cracked and started loose and it just winds up splitting up that like that. So that's the biggest problem you're gonna find with the Freightliner inspection. So as for your inspection, we just did it.